Let's see a couple of options for working with vectors in Sketchbook Designer. We have different brushes and then we have different methods of strokes. In this case, for example, a freehand uh, stroke that afterwards I can, with that control, change it into different shapes that could have been exactly what I wanted. The second case is more like the normal spline that we could produce in some applications, right? And you can still drag the, the controls and then click OK in the check marks to get it done. The third one is more like a polyline from AutoCAD, right? So you can still define many different points to create segments. And of course, options for ellipse, circle, and a rectangle. So those are the vectors that you can produce inside Sketchbook Designer. Other things you can do, for example, you can then select individually or select many, many vectors based on, on a rectangular selection. And uh, we'll be also able to change the properties of those vectors. In this case, it was done with a specific brush, with a specific size. We can change the size of the brush. We can change the type of the brush, the intensity. We can either show or not show the stroke. So there's a lot of flexibility in the way we can work. We can also keep adding more points, for example, in when we work with, with splines, right? We can add control points or we can remove control points from the spline and make it very, very powerful to edit. This control also allows us to cycle through different options of what we could have wanted to do with those uh, with those points. We'll see more of that in following videos. Thank you.